and now just try to relax all right let all those muscles just <laughs> uh, feel the goodness of that foam roller hey guys mark mckillier with live vanabolic and today i want to talk about bad posture i have to deal with it all the time so i'm sure you do too and i got three simple little movements I want you guys to do that will only take three minutes and I promise if you do it especially when you're hurting you're gonna feel so much better so stick around this is so simple requires absolutely no effort these are more fun than those terrible workout programs I push you through all right so before we get into the three little movements I want to show you guys let's just talk real real quickly about why bad posture is so important and and what are the causes and, and a lot of you guys probably already know this but but you know think how much time you spend every day hunched over in front of your computer okay or working on something you know it may not even be a computer you know even if you're lifting weights improperly sometimes you do too much and a lot of a lot of guys spend too much time focused on their chest okay which causes your shoulders to kind of pull forward and round down and I know when I'm sitting in front of the computer and I I do you know several hours a day in front of the computer I've noticed that my screen that I'm looking at isn't high enough so when I'm sitting there my hands feel good relative to the keyboard and the height of my chair but my monitor is not up here, it's down on the desk. So I'm looking down slightly, okay, while I'm working on my computer. So what I need to do, and probably what you need to do, is get that monitor up, okay? Get it up so that you're not looking down. You wanna have your head in a nice neutral position when you're looking at it, okay? And that is probably just not the norm for most people because monitors come with these little, these little bases, okay, that they sit on and they don't raise the thing up. So you're gonna have to find a way to get that thing up higher, all right? So that's not one of the three movements. That's just a quick little aside. But you know, we spend a lot of time in front of the TV. A lot of you guys spend a lot of time in the car and if you're not sitting properly, if you don't have your seat adjusted properly in the car, it'll cause you to kind of be hunched over and your shoulders to be rounded. And so all of those things just kind of add up. And it, if it was just a few minutes a day, it would be no big deal. But I guarantee you, it's hours and hours and hours, every day, seven days a week. And this stuff really starts to accumulate. So, why do we want to fix our posture? What are the benefits, all right? Well, I'm doing a little research. Some of it, you know, you guys are gonna know, but some of it, I was surprised, okay? So, of course, if we stand up straight, and hold our shoulders back, and keep our head in a, in a neutral position and not sloped forward like this keep that chin up you'll you'll it'll help to reduce back pain for you guys that are experiencing kind of lower back pain especially sometimes even myself i get i get knots in my upper back and i'm sure some of that is due to poor posture um guys i don't have a problem with headaches i probably haven't had a headache in 30 years but if if you're one of the people who experience headaches on a semi-regular basis Having good posture can help reduce the stress in your neck and your traps, okay? And then that can lead to far fewer headaches, okay? Um, this is an, another one that I was surprised when I was researching it. it was, it's improved circulation and digestion. So, you know, when you're, when you're kind of hunched over, okay, especially, you know, if you're sitting improperly in front of, on the couch or something, you're, you're compressing your torso, okay, and your abdomen. And so all your, all those organs that are all supposed to be lined up and your, your digestion is, is partially dependent on gravity, okay? I know <laughs> if I eat a big meal and then I get horizontal on that couch and turn the TV on, I don't digest my food nearly as well and I don't feel nearly as good as if I eat and then stay upright. I don't have to be standing, but at least I'm sitting upright. Gravity works with your digestive system so much better. Um, another thing that good posture is gonna do is, is make your core stronger and your scapular muscles stronger, your upper back. And then finally, guys, pay attention, okay? Just kind of make a mental note look at some people walking around and, I, and it could be at the office it could be when you're shopping you know out in public at the gym it doesn't matter 
and look at people's posture and guys, especially the guys. Guys that are walking around with good posture with their shoulders back and their head up, they just look more self-confident. They look more muscular, okay? And I promise there's a, there's a biofeedback to that too. So if you're walking with good posture, all right, whether it's at the gym or at work, okay, you look more impressive to other people. Plus, up here, it makes you feel better, okay? You're gonna have more self-confidence. If you just learn, okay, to hold yourself correctly, more upright, plus it'll make you look taller. <laughs> All right, who doesn't want to look taller? All right, so we're done with that part of the video where I'm talking about the causes and the benefits. Okay, now let's get to the three simple little movements I want you guys to try. It only takes three minutes a day, guys. And the good part about this video, you're not going to work up a sweat, okay? <laughs> Most of my videos make you really huff and puff and get tired, this is actually gonna make you feel great. All right guys, so I have a little bit of equipment here, all right? This, this really makes it much easier and it just works a lot better. So a foam roller, real inexpensive. And of course, I'm using my bands here and I recommend you guys pick one of the real lightweight bands, okay? The lightest weight is, is what I'm using right here because when we start doing these stretches and these movements, it's not about building muscle, okay? It's not about pumping a bunch of blood into the muscles. It's about just <laughs> relaxing, okay? And feeling the mind-muscle connection. So, the first thing we're gonna start with is called a door stretch. And so remember, we're trying to stretch out and get our shoulders back. And, you know, we do a lot of pressing movements and a lot of fly movements, you know, when we're trying to build a big chest and it tends to bring your shoulders together. So you can find a, a doorway, it doesn't have to be wide, it could be a normal you know, 36 inch wide door here. So remember guys, all you wanna do is just kinda lean into it, all right? So some guys have got bad shoulders. I got real flexible, good shoulders, I'm, I'm lucky. All right, so slowly put your weight forward and you're gonna start to feel that stretch, okay? So it's, it's working because my hands are up high, I'm really stretching the top part of my pec all the way and your pec muscle rolls over the top and ties in over here under your shoulder muscle. Okay, so that's where you're gonna feel it up here. And just hold that for about 15 to 20 seconds, guys. What I think most people are gonna uh, make the biggest mistake with is not holding the stretches long enough. Okay, so hold it up here, 15 to 20 seconds, all right? And then move your arms down here, all right? you know, around waist high, and then, oh, so you can go even further now. And you're gonna feel the stretch lower in your chest, and you're gonna feel it move over here. So with your hands up high, you're gonna feel a lot of stretch up high, and in the front part of your shoulder, you move your hands down, oh, you're gonna feel it in a different location. And that's, of course, what we're trying to do. We're trying to stretch all the different muscle fibers in our chest, and, the anterior part of our shoulders, our delts. Remember, your shoulders have got three muscle groups, the front, the sides, and the back. All right, so we're trying to stretch out those front shoulder muscles. And then you can go kind of to a, a mid-height hand position here and stretch. And as you get loose, all right, you'll be able to go further and further with this, all right? So guys, if, if, the, if the door is more narrow, you can just put your elbows, all right, in the, in the door jam, and you can move those elbows up down and mid height, okay? And then the stretch. So, you know, you can just count it out. You just need about 60 seconds of that. So you're gonna really stretch out your chest and this is also the front part of your delts that we're stretching, okay? So that's gonna help bring those shoulders back and help with your posture. Okay, movement number two. This one feels fantastic, okay? Foam roller. Put it down on the ground, guys. I'm just gonna basically lay on it. I'm gonna center that foam roller in the middle of my back, and I'm gonna have my head hanging over the back of this foam roller, okay? So that foam roller is going right down my spine, and I'm gonna find a point here. So my head's on the foam roller right there. So I want to have my head hang off a little bit. Oh, and that's gonna stretch your whole spine when you bring your head like this. All right, so just let it hang off the back edge just a little bit. Oh. All right, so I'm centered now, 
and then I'm just gonna oh and just let gravity take over here guys so this is not so much a an act of stretch so when I was stretching in the doorway a minute ago I was actively I was using my body weight to push myself forward okay and actively stretching my arms and my chest now I'm just kind of letting gravity take over and now just try to relax all right let all those muscles just <laughs> uh, feel the goodness of that foam roller and I'm not even moving back and forth guys so do you can count to 60 you can look at your watch but just hang out down here for about a minute absolutely no effort I love these kind of deals no effort <sighs> get the good breathing going relax all right and after about a minute of this I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna finish off with the last movement I want you guys to try and then you'll be done and so I'm talking so this video is gonna take much longer than it really would in real life you guys just do each one of these three movements for 60 seconds and after three minutes you're done get back to it <laughs> okay so this final movement I'm gonna be using these bands and of course I got an anchor in the door here and guys like I mentioned earlier this is a real lightweight band okay so I'm not gonna be putting a lot of effort into this all I'm trying to do is get the mind muscle connection going with all those back muscles all right and so I'm only gonna be doing it for about 60 seconds so guys so I'm not trying to build muscle I'm not gonna get a big pump or anything I'm just trying to activate my back so that it'll help bring my shoulders back and keep me in that good posture position so let me show you just a few things to do for just 60 seconds okay so i'm just going to be like i said just bringing my elbows back you know all you got to do is knock out about seven or eight of these all right and then what we're going to do is so that we activate all the different areas of our back i'm also going now going to bring my elbows up high okay elbows are up here you know above my shoulders and I'm not squeezing real hard I'm just kind of activating and I want you guys to just visualize your back okay bringing those elbows back and then I'm gonna come down here and I'm just gonna bring my elbows back down low and if you want you can just do two all right of each movement and just go through the three different positions and just do this for 60 seconds guys and remember what you're trying to do is think through that movement and you'll be able to do this pretty quick okay even if you're a beginner all right you'll be able to feel your brain connecting with the whole back part of your body okay and that's what we're doing so we started off with a stretch in the doorway of our chest then we laid down and we used the foam roller down the middle of our back and we just used gravity to just relax and stretch out the front part of, of our body. And then the last thing we did was our band exercise and then we're focusing on contracting our back muscles to aid in getting those shoulders back. So three really good movements. And then one thing I want you guys to think about, all right, is we got tons of problems posture is not just our only issue here uh, and a lot of times posture can lead to joint problems a lot of you guys have got problems with your neck your elbows your shoulders your lower back your knees ankles it just goes on and on and on and so if you're having those kind of issues and you want to have a much more involved routine than this little three minute deal i just showed you just check out our website we got a really cool product that i created with a guy named dr dan bachman okay it's called pain free after 50 and Dan and I sit at his office and he goes through tons dozens of dozens of different exercises and movements to help solve specific issues and we literally talk about practically every joint in your body so if you got a problem with your shoulder Dan shows me several different exercises that you should do to help rehab that shoulder and and the neat thing about Dan is this guy is really well known this guy knows his stuff and he's not just a chiropractor he's a sports injury rehab specialist 
So most of his work is, is working with, you know, high-level athletes that injured themselves or have, you know, joint problems, okay? And he also works with a lot of older people like me. Uh, that's how I met him about 15 years ago. I was having problems, went in, and I've known him ever since. So check out Pain Free After 50. It's a really cool product. I think all you guys can benefit from it that are experiencing joint problems. All right, guys, that's probably the funnest, easiest three minute video I've ever shot for y'all, okay? <laughs> so it's super simple, super easy, and I, and I promise you're gonna feel so much better after you do it. And the other thing is, guys, you can do it anywhere, anytime, and you, you aren't limited to doing this just once a day. You're not gonna overdo this, okay? So you could do this two, three times a day, four or five times a day. It's just up to you how bad is your problem and how flexible is your schedule, all right? So, it ain't, you're not gonna fix your problems overnight, but I promise if you kinda stick with all these little stretching movements, I promise your posture will get a lot better and you will feel so much better about yourself inside.